Hi guys and welcome to another week and another stream. We are live on Le Mans driving some group one cars and yeah this is getting hot today. Fast cars, fast track and I guess we will get a lot of action today. Yeah, not an easy combo, mainly because of the track limits and track limit penalty. Um, I will try to avoid these, but I'm 100% sure I will get several track limit penalties. Um, first race, we will start in this, yeah, drop split as... Our rating dropped last week in the final race and so our sports rating is on A. And yeah, I guess after one race we will be back in the top split. So this is good for training. Yeah, Goated, I've seen this um, on Keystream. With the new penalty system, there were like <laughs> no penalties for contact anymore. Um, yeah, <laughs> seems good for me. Okay, Group 1 isn't yeah the type of racing, the type of combo where um, going on contact, it's more with the slower cars where I, yeah have a lot of contact with the other drivers, not because I want them push off the track, but just because it's pure racing. Yeah, I got max power, you're right. The track limits change every lap. Um, I guess we will start on the medium tires. Um, how many laps do we have? Hi Ram, I Shan. I Shan, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, this is the drop split. And so... First race, hopefully... Relaxed one. Where we can get used to this car and... Yeah, also to the track limits, etc. and to the strategy. Oh, Louis is on 6. Welcome to the stream, welcome to the race, let's have a good one. Okay, thanks God Max Power. We will try the same five laps on medium tires, one lap on hard tires. And yeah, my internet connection not at a hundred percent as it looks like, so yeah if the stream gets stuck um, or lags just try to refresh it. Um, I had these issues a lot during the last week so yeah just refresh the page and I keep on racing so yeah I did my qualifying lap in the Audi so this is the first lap I'm doing with the TS50 hybrid this is yeah the car of choice in most of the group one car races because it's really good on fuel and really good on tires so I guess this won't be a bad 
ideal to use the, this today. Um, maybe we'll change the call later. We will see in the top split. Um, yeah, what artists use and maybe yeah, we'll change our car too. But for now, we are in the TS50 and everything seems all right. Three seconds ahead. We got enough fuel for the six races, so don't need to check this. A little bit too late. <lacht> Robson, danke der Frage, keinerlei Änderung zum, zur letzten Woche, alles bestens. So yeah, after the last week where we drove at yeah, the Red Bull Ring, we're again on a track which, yeah, is difficult when it comes to the track limits. I think these are the two tracks with the worst track limits in Gran Turismo Sport. Red Bull Ring and, yeah, Le Mans. So goal today, avoiding these penalties. And here's the first half a second in the final chicane. I guess this will cost us about yeah one to one and a half seconds as we will have to serve it on the first straight or on the first part of the big straight Clayton, no, this isn't the top split. We're in the drop split as, yeah, my sports rating was too low for the drops, uh, for the top split today. Seems like my internet connection is getting really bad at the moment. 
I hope we will not crash uh, and yeah, lose connection to this lobby. Even if the stream gets problems, I don't want to yeah, get knocked out of this race just because of the internet connection. Hi Unterschnitt, herzlich willkommen. I'm driving the Toyota TS50 Hybrid. Um, I'm not 100% sure if this is the best car for the race, but the TS50 is always a good choice for the races, even if it's not the fastest car in qualifying. But you see, we've almost done half of the laps and the tires are just barely used and we could do a no stopper with these tires and this car but we have to do one stop to change to the hard tires as these are the regulations for this race I guess that's another penalty. Yeah, a little bit too wide on the left side. <laughs> and no, I can't slow down to make things interesting. This is just the first race and yeah, we're in the slower split because our sports rating was too low and yeah after doing this race we will I think we will be in the top split again and race against much faster guys and 
Yeah, I think this maybe could be the only victory today. My qualifying lap was about two and a half seconds slower than the top time in Europe. Still not a bad time, I think. Three minutes, 18.3. Um, yeah, about six or seven tenths behind the top ten places, but more than two seconds behind the top guys. But I think that's okay, we're at Le Mans. Lap times are like twice as long as on a normal track and on the normal tracks um yeah my goal is to get get within one second to the top guys so this is my usual um gap to the top guys something between half a second and one second per minute of lap time so on the notch life uh, on a seven minutes lap i'm seven seconds behind the fastest guys on this planet and here yeah between two and three seconds so everything all right So one more lap on these medium tires. Um, Nix, who's the fastest guy on GT Sports? Um, yeah, there are several really fast guys like Igor Fraga, TRL Lightning, and also Miyazono from Japan. And yeah, a penalty, I don't know where exactly I cut the track. Hi Thiago, welcome to the stream. Clayton, no, you're not distracting me, maybe, yeah, a little bit, but Le Mans got some long straights and, yeah, that's, it's also possible for me to read the chat and, yeah, comment on some of your questions. Let's call this multitasking. Hi GT Max.
so let's get some fresh tires Hi Gabriel. So, um, pit stops got several seconds longer. I think with the latest update, you see we spent much more time in the pits than before. my opinion that's yeah good good update and I think it's right because pit stops were much too short in the past we almost lost no time in the pits because as soon as you enter the pit your car was already yeah um, It was already at a place where it got refueled and the tires got changed and then we immediately got out of the pit so there was no time for the entry and now we have all this way through the pits which makes it yeah, much more realistic in my opinion. And here's the first one we lap looks like he quit and is on auto drive Yeah, pits are the ele an element of strategy now. I don't think it makes a huge difference because before uh, most people did maybe two stops, now they will do one stop, but they will have the same pace and so it's for everyone, so yeah. It just makes it more realistic in my opinion. And maybe this helps also those who do well with their tires and yeah maybe can save one pit stop. It's been a while ago where they changed the fuel multiples so you don't, ha don't have to fuel uh, safe anymore since a couple of weeks or months. Um, this was also a nice strategic element, but yeah, I think they didn't want to have some fuel safe races where people were running on fuel map four or five for the whole race just to make it without a pit stop. So yeah, this is the end of the first race, let's see if we can get back to our sportsman's rating, S rating and almost everyone with a penalty <laughs> apart from these guys who quit the lobby. Nix, I'm using the Fanatec CSL Elite wheel with club sport pedals. You can check the video description below, there's my link. So you find 
all the information about my equipment and my settings in the description. Yeah, GT Max pace wasn't that bad. Um, this wasn't the fastest lobby. And yeah, I hope. Why is there no countdown? Yeah, I hope we, we will make it before. Before the next race starts in three minutes. So did they disable this one minute countdown after the race? You saw that right, 10 people gave up and we're back on S, so we'll go into the top split again. Okay, the countdown is longer in the mixed DR lobbies. I haven't seen this before, seems a little bit strange and also on a track like this, um, you see it was so long, the countdown. We, we almost didn't made it into the next race. Hi Basti. Yeah, with driver racing uh, rating B, I guess there will be a lot of chaos at the chicanes. Biggest problem is the speed of these cars. Group 1 is so fast and if you make a mistake, um, it doesn't end well most of the time. So when you're in the slower cars, sometimes you can make mistakes. N there's not much that happens. You can fight door to door or wheel to wheel and not much happens but with these cars only a small contact and yeah it will end in a crash. I'm excited, excited which cars we will face in the next race if there are more TS50 hybrid cars races or maybe there's someone using the Mazda which I wanted to try in qualifying but I didn't have such a good feeling as with the Audi I'm more fan of the downforce cars and not so much these group 1 cars with just a little downforce. Hi Marty. So five seconds until we will enter our next race. Timer's down. And now I want to see who we got here in our next race. I guess it won't be that easy as the race before. Um, Basti, ich muss gerade mal schauen. Okay, we're in another drop split. What's our DR? 
Did we lose so much last week? Okay, we are on 81. Did they reduce the, the amount of SR points you can gain in a race? Okay, we we only gained eight or nine SR points for this race. I think that's half the amount we had before the update. So yeah, be careful with that. So it takes much longer now to get your rating back to the top. PTX Roger, ich kann es dir leider nicht sagen, ob es mit dem Drive Hub funktioniert. Hab das Teil leider nicht, aber ich wünsche dir viel Glück, dass du damit zurechtkommst. Buddy, yeah, I know um, it depends on on the track and how many laps and how many uh, I think how many sections there are on track. Um, but race C is was always like yeah, I think 17 to 19 SR points you could gain in one race, and now I only got nine, so. They definitely changed this. Because on race C you get the most because the race are, races are longest. I just feel bad for all these uh, D-level drivers. Okay, so we'll have a second training race. GT Nostromo, ähm, A plus bin ich. Das Problem war nur äh, die SW, die Sportwertung. Und da war ich auf, ähm, lass mich überlegen, ich glaube 72 unten. Und von 72 sind wir jetzt auf 81 gestiegen, das heißt mit dem nächsten Rennen müssten wir wieder über 90 sein. So someone asked me for my break balance, it's plus one. I don't know if this is a good uh, balance for the TS50 hybrid on this track. Uh, let me know what you use in this car.
Or could it be that they changed the uh, sports rating also for track limit penalties? So you gain less points if you got some track limit penalties? like this one Okay, I should use the Peugeot or Mazda and I will fly, and <laughs> we will see. Um, no, there's no need to refuel. In this race, we just have to change our tires to use hards and mediums. By the way, I think they also fixed the display bug where I always had like a little uh, push on the brake pedal depending on which uh, of the display menus I use. So I think when I was on the fuel mix, there was this slightly yeah, push on, on brake pedal on the on the brake pedal bar but now it's gone and it's gone in every display so I guess they fixed this <laughs> only took them about three years so <laughs> or four years everything all right Okay, Peugeot is a good choice, but heavier. I think I would go with this TS50 Hybrid for another race. Uh, I want to use this at least once in the top split and yeah, see how good it performs compared to other cars. And penalties, penalties, penalties. <laughs> Yeah, this looks easy because we're in the drop split, driving against yeah some weaker drivers. But I hope we will be back in the top split after this race. Bond trap, yeah, I'm using the Fanatec 
CSL Elite wheel. You can check out my equipment and all my settings in the video description. No, I didn't talk about Manufacturer Cup. As I said last week, I'm not competing in this one. I don't have the time for, for the FIA Cups. Let's try to get one clean lap at least. Yeah, I'm getting unlucky with these penalties. Um, yeah, Le Mans is one of the worst tracks when it comes to track limit penalties together with the Red Bull Ring. at this we're already one minute and six seconds ahead Ja, hast du richtig verstanden? Ich fahre aktuell kein, äh, keine FIA Cups. Ist mir einfach zu zeitaufwendig und die Zeit habe ich aktuell nicht. Ich habe es mal aufgeschlüsselt. Das sind pro Rennen, ja, sagen wir, 5 Stunden Vorbereitungszeit und dann am Abend nochmal 5 Stunden, dass man auch drei Rennen oder so fahren kann, zwei, drei Rennen, also zehn Stunden für ein Rennen bei zwei Rennen in der Woche, kriege ich gerade leider nicht untergebracht.
Yeah, Marty, that's uh, D rating versus A plus rating. <laughs> I'm sorry for all these guys in my race. Flame Haze, ähm, ich hatte noch keinen Kontakt zu anderen äh, bis jetzt, von dem her kann ich es nicht sagen, aber soweit ich bis jetzt mitbekommen habe, sind die Kontaktstrafen mehr oder weniger ausgeschaltet. Naja, Basti, ich finde, die Boxenstoppzeiten machen es für mich realistischer, weil die Boxenstopps vorher einfach viel zu kurz waren. Ähm, das Auto wurde im Prinzip direkt beim Einfahren schon vor die Crew gesetzt und danach auch direkt wieder auf die Strecke. Die komplette Länge der Boxengasse ist eigentlich weggefallen und für mich ist jetzt eindeutig realistischer. Yeah, we're close to lap. The guy on 17th position. Well, I think he was already in the pits, and so after our pit stop, the gap will be bigger again. So we get some hot tires. Even I think I wouldn't need them. <laughs> there a one minute or two minutes penalty if you don't change the tires if it's just a one minute penalty I could have done this <laughs> as a no stopper and still win Nostromo ich komme aus dem schönen Schwarzwald also nichts mit NRW We're back on track, last lap, on the hot tires now.
hope we can catch this one guy because if we don't we have to wait I think like four minutes or even more uh, until he finishes his race Um, what's my least favorite car in Gran Turismo? Um, the cars I don't like are the FF cars. Um, yeah, also... I'm not a huge fan of the handling of the Megan Trophy. Just feels not right in my opinion. And they are of course um, number one when it comes to bad handling cars is the Nissan, um, or is it called the Group 1 car they tried on uh, Le Mans. I guess most of you know which car I mean, <laughs> with also with front wheel drive. GTR Limor, yeah, <laughs> that's right. So, yeah, 20 minutes, 21 minutes and 7 seconds. And there's a countdown of 50 seconds. So why didn't we have this last race? So I guess no one of the others will make it to the finish line. Nostromo, nein, aktuell fahre ich nur die äh, Rennen im Sportmodus. So let's see if we are back in the top split now. Ähm, keine Ahnung, ob die ein DNF dafür bekommen haben. Ich meine, es wird einfach so gewertet, wie dann die Position auf der Strecke ist. Okay, sportsmanship is back on 91, so we will face some yeah, harder competition in the next race. Let's see if the TS50 is the right car. Okay. 
Clayton, no, I don't have time for FIA races because it's yeah too time consuming to prepare for the races because if I do this and my rating is about 60k DR points I will face some of the fastest guys in Europe and without any training this is impossible to get a good position so yeah two minutes to go till our next race Danke Nils, schön, dass du trotzdem reingeschaut hast. Hi Ace Bo. Okay, Quinton killed everyone <laughs> with the Peugeot. Um, yeah, I think it doesn't matter which car you give Quinton, he kills you with every car. So yeah, as we're on 91, this will be our first race with some yeah a plus competition and maybe the first one where we can check if the collision penalties are still active but I guess they are not And here we go, next race, second place, right behind God Max Power. How did you get this 3 minutes 16 lap time with the controller? That's incredible. So yeah, a lot of A-level drivers in here, only a few A+. Thank you, Marty. So this will be the first real race of today. And yeah, I hope we won't get as much penalties as in the last one.
Okay, God Max Paul, let's have a good race with a lot of action. High bullet soup. Hi Edward, greetings back to Costa Rica. And here we go. Six laps to go to catch God Max Power. And God Max Power showing his awesome pace. Max Power with his first penalty. How long is this penalty? 
Was this half a second or one second? And is it enough for us to catch him? You see, these are the one and a half to two seconds. He's also faster in qualifying. There's another penalty for him. But I guess again we're too far away. Now my connection... Yeah, it's good again. Look really bad for a moment. much we gain. I think this was half a second penalty and this cost him almost one second. Don't get any closer, we need another penalty from him.
Ah, no, that's penalty for us. At the exit of the Porsche corners. Still the fastest lap time on this race. Now look how much time we lose with this half a second penalty. Hi Panzer, schau einfach mal in die Videobeschreibung unter dem Stream, da ist mein komplettes Equipment verlinkt. Ich fahre mit Lenkrad, Fanatec, CSL Elite. Aber schau es dir einfach mal selber an. Ja, Basti, extremes Tempo, was Gott Max Power da vorlegt. Im Moment leider etwas zu schnell für mich, um dran zu bleiben. This penalty. Hi Smoking Aces! And adapt Cyberman also with a penalty. That's good for us, still one and a half 
seconds to him. This was a little bit too late. And here they come. Stupid mistake. Oh no. He blocks us right before the pit entry. Okay, so Paul Walker stopped in his first lap. did we get another penalty oh, this is so frustrating on this track if we can get Karlsburger one and a half seconds he's fast on the straights but now it's the part where our car is faster
one car slowing down. Ah, uh, wasn't sure if I should. <laughs> yeah, if I should go through him or try to avoid him. This was really close. Okay, fifth place, I think third place was possible. Well, slower than God Max Power and Paul Walker, but yeah, without these stupid, pen uh, stupid off track and too many penalties. Thank you, Perfector. Ja, was die Platz 3 wäre drin gewesen. The good thing is, our sports rating, sportsmanship is back to 100 or back to 99 and yeah <laughs> we're not that close to the drop split anymore i think the ts50 is a good car on this track also paul walker with the audi i think it's the audi is harder to drive here than the TS50. Acebo, yeah, I think the TS50 is the easiest car uh, to drive in Group 1. Um, what did I use for qualifying the Audi R18? I tried the Mazda but uh, didn't get a good feeling for this car and so I choose the Audi and I think this lap time isn't too bad. Um, is it much faster for quad lap? You have to, yeah, um, refuel your hybrid system right before the lap. Then it's good. So, if you want to fill your hybrid system slow down and then when you go in first gear and use brake and throttle simultaneous 
you can refuel your battery and your hybrid system and yeah, this will help you a lot when you go for a new hot lap Okay, yeah. Brake balance to the rear helps the battery. Um, we will try this now and go on plus three. This makes it maybe a little bit harder to get this car through the corners. But maybe we get some extra hybrid power which yeah, helps us with half a second or something like this a lap. I think I used plus plus one on the RD. Um, I don't know how much difference this is. And here's the key. God Max Power, Epic Toby. So yeah, this will be an interesting race. Key with the Audi. We're in the TS50 together with God Max Power, Epic Toby. There's also a Peugeot. Pretty mixed field. Looks interesting. Uh, Ace Ball made it into the race. Good luck for your starting last. Yeah, the Reifenverschleiß is a problem, and vor allem wird wird die Kiste etwas unruhig. Beim in die Kurven reinbremsen. Good luck, got, got max power. Yeah, let's see which strategy they will use. Fourth place should be fine to yeah, start on the straight. Fifth place, in my opinion, the worst place to start at Le Mans. And here we go.
Esteban and Toby fighting for their second position. That's the problem with such a high brake balance to the rear. It's so easy to lose control when you brake and turn in. Nice to watch these three cars fighting for their positions. There's the first penalty from Epic Toby. Half a second for him. And another penalty. So this is good for us. As we're in the slipstream now. second place for us at the moment Out of battery power, 
so easy overtake for us now. Two and a half seconds. Two max got max power. Oh yeah, it's risky to push too hard in this track, you get penalties so easy. Got max power, stop texting and driving or we will call the police. I think got max power is the goat of multitasking. <laughs> Ah, no, this was a stupid one. But Esteban also with half a second penalty and we got half a second additional.
And Toby also with a one second penalty. So everyone just collecting penalties. I'm sure this kills the tires. But yeah, I just couldn't avoid this. start lagging as my connection going down again Just half a tenth away from the slipstream. And now Esteban has spun a little bit faster on the straight. Let's see if we can get him after this chicane. got a better acceleration but he has the better top speed okay this time let's try to help him with all the sick drift Let's see if we can get him on the slower part of the track. Okay. He ran out of battery. But yeah, his top speed is still better than ours. Oh, 
Ah, oh, no. Extreme Crape, I'm using the Toyota TS50 Hybrid. Yeah, and this half a second penalty, this one hurts. So we're so close to second place. There's another half a second. He somehow made his way to second place. I think I should change the brake balance just for this one corner. Or I need a different strategy to brake there. Ah, no, 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 not again. <laughs> Ah, damn, I hate these hard tires. Ah, this works so good on the mediums. But the hard tires just don't have the grip, so I can almost flat out through the right hand and then brake. place too bad with this huge mistake right at the end could have been fifth place for us and key also got god max power
Cut max power, what kind of penalty did you get? One tenth behind key. Oh my god, this hurts. Yeah, that's you see that's the problem when you do five laps on medium tires then switch on the hard tires and you're still in the medium medium mode and try to break at the same points as before this just doesn't work Okay, I'm back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Marty, I'm racing against Quinton. Oh my god, this will <laughs> get hard. Look at this Quinton 315.8. In the Mazda, Haku also in the Mazda. Seems like the Mazda is like two times faster than the Audi. Got Savisic here under God Max Power on eighth place now in Europe with the controller. That's crazy.
so here we go fifth place Antomix in the race epic toby again got max power p walker and this is someone at the back timbri and will murdoch <laughs> okay things are getting crazy Yeah, several top 10 drivers and other drivers that could easily go into the top 10 if they want to. So this is a crazy lobby. There's no room for penalties this time. fifth place I think this wasn't a good place to start from I guess we will start right in the middle of the chicane yeah not easy to start from fifth but we've done it and here we go for Antomix and his Mazda, of course he has the better top speed, but we got some hybrid power. So these group 1 cars, these old group C cars like the Mazda, they are incredibly fast on the straight. Look at this. <laughs> it just fly by, flies by and yeah, but they are not as good when it comes to accelerating out of the corners and they don't have hybrid power. Walker coming from the back.
no, I hate this dirty air. No penalty for us. And Antomix with the penalty. Could be enough for us. No, he's accelerating too fast. Trying to adjust the brake balance just before this help in. And there's a penalty for a Dinor. And this should be enough, when he serves his penalty he should lose more than one second, so we should get the third place now, after the next chicane. Oh my god, what a dive bomb! And here we go, podium for now, but there were guys on different strategies, they would get us at the end of the race. Max Power and Thunder set in a close race at the front, half a second between those two.
got max power with a 321. almost three seconds faster than what I could do here And what is he doing? Was this a lag or did he really get this corner like this without a penalty? pit at the end of this lap goal is to stay ahead of Dinar John, how many laps? Six laps in total. We got two laps to go. So this one and one more.
like I said, I wanted to be ahead of him when we enter the pit. So, some fresh tires. Basti, schöne Woche. Ciao, ciao. So this will be a very exciting final. Just came back behind P. Walker. And there's someone going extremely fast. Oh my god, what a top speed. This thing is extreme. And this is 8th place, 1st race with art, a penalty. I guess that's the best we could do in, in such a lobby. Will Murdoch ahead, Antomix, got max power. Yeah, I think n not a bad result. 
I'm okay with this one. And yeah, guys, this was the last race for today. Had, I have to go already. And so, yeah, I think that's a good final for today's stream and look at these lap times will murder 319.8 <laughs> completely crazy so we were the only one with a 23 lap time in the top 10 so yeah I hope you enjoyed today's stream. Um, we had some nice races, I think. Not the best results. Um, yeah, first two races were a bit too easy, but you see Lemars some nice racing here. We didn't have huge problems with contact or contact penalties. There were no crashes. Um, of course, the uh, Shortcut penalties are really hard here. Try to avoid them when you do your races on Lemar. Try to stay on the track within the track limits and then you can get some good results. Especially in the lower leagues. Many people will get penalties and if you avoid them you can gain some good results. Smoking Aces, thank you. For the donation again, your legend. So yeah, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, click on the bell so you get a notification when I'm on the next time. For today, I say goodbye, have a good evening, have a nice week, and we will see us here next week, next Monday, with the new combos. See you there, bye bye.